gosh, it smells so good in here, you guys. Oh, those those uh, wax melts are just so nice. I know you're excited. I know you are. I know, I know, I know it. It is Index Card Friday. So, this is completely different. This is something that is uh, kind of on you. Whoever the winner of this is, is, um, yeah, you have to do a little crafting, a little crafting. So this is what I created. It is a coffin. Now, there's a story behind this, and the story is I had gone to a craft crop with Dana. Oh, oh, before COVID. So probably um, four years ago, maybe, four years ago. And I can't remember who had the coffins. Um, I want to say it was one of the great companies, Stampin' Up! Or it may probably was Stampin' Up! Look at that. Isn't that just so cute? Anyway, I had bought several of the coffins because that year I had filled them with treats and gave them to my grandkids. So I was just going through some of my Halloween stuff and I saw this and I thought, you know, I had I had not put it together. So what I did is I took and I did my very best. I don't want to have to put it together because this obviously would have to go in a box. And I'm not, you know, I do a giveaway every week and that adds up. So not gonna happen. So what I did is I took this, made a template, cut it out and you're gonna have to do it. Whoever wins it is going to have to make their own little coffin. This is the um, index card and it's a tag just like that. There you are, three by five. And I put a little bit of black trim um, on this in, uh, on the uh, paper clip just to keep this closed. So what we're going to do today is really just do the, do the tag because what will come to you, the winner of this, is the ribbon, the coffin, here is the lid, and I'm hoping it all should go together without any trouble. But what you are going to have to do is take, and it's, it's going to be, when you see it, I think, pretty self-explanatory. So you will take and glue like this to this. This to this. And you can see you're going to start getting the coffin shape. And I'm hoping that I measured everything and that it will come it should come together as a really cute coffin but it will come like that and here is the lid same thing with this lid you're going to have to glue this together and then keeping my fingers crossed that will fit together and then you're going to have your we will do the tag but your here's your flowers here is your leaf so if you need to come back on to this video and see how I did that, I mean, I just put the flowers on there. It's not that big a deal. So um, you're going to have to decorate the top of your coffin. But we will do your tag right now. So that is what's happening. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So we have our index card we have our piece of paper three by five and a three by five and then what we're gonna do is glue make sure I'm on camera I'm gonna put glue on this and just glue it on top of our index card 
I mean, guys, I just felt like a coffin the last week of October. Come on. You know, that's... That's just what it had to be. I couldn't help myself. So we're gonna get this down there. I'm gonna try to get it down there. Of course, you wouldn't think it would be that hard. And I still didn't get it completely right. don't know where my my big thingamajiggy is. I think we're going to be okay with that anyway. We'll see. I don't know why we wouldn't be. And then, of course, we need a little distress ink. So we are going to, I can already tell I'm going to have to trim this. When I go to fold this, it's not going to be right. So it's getting to be early evening. Well, no, it's like four o'clock or something like that. Not late, but I think this is like my third movie today. My third video. And I finished my little Christmas journal. And then did I, pretty sure I did the inside. I did. Just the edge. So I apologize if you're looking and my table is a wreck. I have been getting that shabby soul um, journal. It is done. Hear the jingle bell? So cute. Oh, we want to do this guy. This is going to go on the front. There we go. So then, let's see, I need the scoreboard, get my little score buddy out, and it should be two and a half. This is going to be a pretty quick video, because you can see there's not... A whole lot that we are going to be doing. Seeing that I'm still not right. Look at that. I want it. I want to get it pretty close. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want to have your writing space, just in case you put this together and decide next year that you want to give it to somebody just you will just have to remember that you have it so where did i put there we are so we're going to take this trim it's a pretty little trim it's got a little shimmer and sheen to it i got it from i had talked about the um the, i think the junkin sisters on Etsy, I had bought, I think, three different bags of trims from them, and oh, is it worth it? Um, I had shared these before, but this is just like, this is out of one bag, all different kinds of trims, trims for every occasion and every color, so they're pretty great. So I just tied a knot in that. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to glue this onto here. But before we do that, we're going to poke, poke, 
punch a hole right up here. Isn't anything special? I am just putting a hole in there. I didn't even do an eyelet because you really don't need it. And then we're going to take this and we're going to not have it be even because one side of it wraps around the back and the other just goes over the top. So we really are going to offset this. And I think I can do this and we can ship it with no, it'll be no issue. I think that'll be about right. And if not, you can just adjust it. If that doesn't work for you, then you can just adjust this, but it's going to go, depending upon how you wanna put it, this is just gonna come around there and then you can just kinda tie like a little loop-de-loo on your little coffin. So let's put, let's glue this down. I can't believe this is the last Halloween index card. One of my favorite holidays and it is just going to be over in a couple days. And considered in the past, so we're just going to glue this. This was um, a sheet of paper. And I don't have that paper right in front of me, but it was a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And it had all these designs on it. And I just came in and cut this design out. Thought it was cute. Little Frankenstein. And um, put this on there. And that really is it. So this goes on there. So what will be coming is this, just like this. And so you will decorate your coffin, put it together, and um, voila, that is it. So let's get to it. I have... Okay, one of these is mine, and I can't remember which. I didn't mark it, and so I don't think it really, it doesn't matter at all. The stamps, everything's the same. So let's give this away, and I will put that in my stash. So yeah, remember, we had the bag of bones. Everybody got a kick out of that when I did the bag of bones. I thought that was so funny. I've always said bag of bones, because that's what it is, is a bag of bones. So let's give away this with the little bag of bones. Okay, let's just, we'll take this one in the center. And the winner of this cutie and Karen, you won last week's. I, I put it in the mail yesterday, so I'm sorry it's late. It just depends on when I can get to the post office. Um, Ann Kathy. Okay, Ann Kathy. I catch Ann Kathy every once in a great while. So I'm hoping, Ann Kathy, that you are that you are watching. But, um, yeah, this may be up next week because I think Ann Kathy won before a couple times. And I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know. I could be wrong. But, anyway, this is that. And I'm going to wish everybody a very, very safe and happy Halloween. I hope the kitties have a lot, a lot of fun. I hope everybody is well and enjoy your weekend. Um, yeah, I'm sad that our next one is going to be fall. The whole month of um, November, I am going to stick with fall, and then we will get into Christmas. And I also will be giving away die cuts. 
So uh, I think I'm going to put my husband on that project because the more he can crank out, the more I can give away. So guys, take care, everybody. Be safe. Have a wonderful, wonderful Halloween if you celebrate that. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.